In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this beautiful 3D pop out of a picture in a mockup on the screen. It adds that little bit of an extra dynamic creative touch to your slides. So this is the end result that we want to achieve. And for that, we're going to start from a blank page. First thing we want to do is we want to add the background image. So we go to the elements tab and here we want to look for screen and you can add desk if you want a desktop setup. We go to photos, see all. And here we have a selection of images that we could use. You can choose whichever one you like. I'm going to use this one. Now here's a quick tip. If you just click the image, it will appear on the slide, but not fill entirely. If you instead drag the image on the slide and drag it to the borders, it will fill entirely on the slide. So that's quite a nice trick to save some time. Next, we want to look for a picture of an animal. In this case, it's going to be a tiger. And let's type in roar and then go to photos and look for a nice picture to use. The cleaner the cutout of the image or the cleaner the background, the better the result will be. So you can choose whichever one you like and fits your style. I'm going to choose this one here. In our case, I want the tiger to roar to the other side. If you want that as well, you can flip it horizontally. And now we're going to edit image and background remover. And this cuts out the tiger from the background. Then you can already place it in the screen. But for that 3D pop out effect, we want to extend it so it's larger than the screen. Now, of course, this doesn't look very realistic, so we're going to do some tweaking. First, we want a jungle layout for the screen. So let's choose one with leaves. I think this one will look quite good. It's going to be minimal in the back anyways. So we position it on the bottom left so it matches the screen. And then we try to fit it in with the screen. Let's move the tiger just for a second. And then we're going to adjust the crop marks until it fills the entire screen. There we go. Now you can go to edit image and add some blur if you want, because the focus is going to be the tiger anyways. And also if you want to adjust the colors, if it's too harsh, you can do that here in the adjustment tab if you want to make it maybe a bit more blue and decrease the brightness. I think that will do. The tiger, of course, control X, control V to bring it to the front. And then we position it here on the slide. Now again, this already looks a little bit better, but we want that extra effect and really make that tiger stand out. So for that, we're going to do two things. One, we're going to adjust the image itself. So go to the edit adjust tab and the temperature, it can be a bit warmer. This way the colors of the fur pop out a little bit more. Same with the brightness. We want to match that with the surroundings. So we can see there's quite a lot of direct light and we, we can see the shadows there's quite some light in the picture so we want to have the same effect on our tiger subject so that it looks like it's really in the room increase the contrast play around with the highlights i'm going to increase them with a few ticks the shadows maybe make them a bit harder so reduce them same with the whites put them on about six and the blacks as well we're going to reduce them slightly because also the blacks in the picture are not that hard. Saturation, if you want, you can make it just that bit more yellow or orange and the vibrance going for something in the middle here. That looks quite good. And then the vignette, which is going to be the borders. So you can see that if we increase the vignette, the borders of that image will become a shadow. And I'm going to do that just a little bit. So it looks like there's a shadow coming from the screen. I think this might be a bit too much. So I'm going to reduce it. And I'm going to add as a second element, a shadow tap. So shadow, graphics, and we're going to choose this line, this clean line. We're going to rotate it 180 degrees and position it at the bottom here. We're going to crop it so that it meets the border of the image. And I'm going to rotate it to minus 90 degrees and position it here. This can also meet the border of the screen on both sides. And now let's preview that on full screen. And this is how you make this 3D pop out effect in Canva in just a few minutes. And you can make it really look realistic with a combination of different images. If you want to learn more about PowerPoint, make sure to watch the video on the screen right now.